Yes, guys. Good evening to all. This evening, I'm in Stony Gully. In the St. Paul Parish of St. Thomas Barbados. Yes, guys. Stony Gully, St. Thomas Barbados in the area coming from St. Thomas Post Office heading towards Lion Castle, Polo Field, Lion Castle Plantation and Lion Castle Tenantry. Yes guys. I'm in Stony Gully in the central parish of St. Thomas and Barbados. <coughs> this is the road that leads from St. Thomas Post Office in Rachmahorn and it leads down to Lancaster, Paul Offey, Lancaster Plantation, and Lancaster Tenantry. And it also leads to Fortress Hill, Jutes Bridge, where they will find the arch over Jutes Plantation. And it leads to Rock Hall Freedom Village, which was the first Freedom Village in Barbados. And it also leads to Jupe's Tenantry. And this road could also lead to Harrison's Cave and Rachel Hall Gully as well. Yes, guys, Tony Gully in the central parish of St. Thomas in Barbados. The road to the left by the bus pole leads back to Highland and back to the and to the back of the St. Thomas Post Office and it leads back to Welchman Hall, Mayor Road and Brian's Road. Stony Gully in the central parish of St. Thomas in Barbados. This is coming from St. Thomas Post Office, heading towards Lion Castle, Polo Field, Lion Castle Tenantry, and Lion Castle Plantation. This is the road that the residents of Lion Castle have to use. When they disembark the bus by St. Thomas Post Office, they have to walk down this road to get to their respective homes, both Lane Castle and Duke's residence. Have to, have to travel this road to get home. But there's a Sturgis bus that comes through here at certain times, and it will take them straight to their door in Lane Castle Tenantry. Yes, guys, Tony Gully Road in the central parish of St. Thomas in Barbados.
Yes, there's Tony Gully, St. Thomas Ramirez.